you, another aspect of intercession involves agreement. All right? Agreement. Amos 3 verse 3 says, can two walk together except they be agreed? Right? If I'm standing in the gap for you, if I'm willing, willing to lay down my life pretty much for you in the place of prayer, there has to be agreement on what it is that we are going to be contending for. The meaning of agreement, agreement means harmony. It means accordance in opinion, accordance in feeling. An agreement is a negotiated, legally binding arrangement between parties. It is a legally binding arrangement in the spirit. When we say I touch and agree, it is a legally binding arrangement. Amen, Maria. In the spirit, right? It is accordance of opinion. It is accordance, one accord, one accord. When I say accordance, it's coming on one accord in opinion and in feeling. So I can't be interceding for you on this and you over here praying something else, or you ask me to believe with you for this and you over here cursing it with your mouth because you don't see it happening yet. Intercession involves agreement. And as intercessors, we come in agreement with God concerning his thoughts and his plans for people's lives. Now, I want to explain that because we are not as intercessors. Sometimes people try to pimp you, right? Oh, here's my prayer request. Oh, pray this, pray this, pray this, pray this, pray this for me. Okay, I'll take your prayer requests. But before I pray a lick of prayer, I got to ask God if this is what he wants me to pray for you. Because as intercessors, we have to guard our agreement. Amos 3 verse 3. We have to guard our agreement with God about his thoughts and his plans for people's lives. You can want this thing all you want. You're not going to get it if it's not God's will for you. And me coming into agreement with something that is not God's will for you don't look good for me and it does not, doesn't look good for you. Right? So we pray God's will concerning the people that we're interceding for. We don't pray our own will. We don't pray our own opinions. I need us to recognize that. Sometimes it's hard because you love this person and you feel like, yep, what they're asking me to pray for is what they want. But you want the, the whole point of prayer, people of God, is to get an answer. Nobody wants to just be praying for praying's sake and nothing changes and nothing moves. You want to have effective prayer that avails much as the bible says so in order for the prayer to avail much we have to pray in accordance to the will of god so i know this is the prayer request that you have presented let's go to god and see what it is that he has to say because at the end of the day if we pray his will it's going to be done for you and it's going to be better than anything you thought you wanted so let's